when people ask me what I do, I say I'm a sculptor and they think straight away, oh, you make bronze sculptures. I say, no, no I make machines. Oh, you're a mechanic. No, uh, I make these kind of quirky, colourful machines that don't really need to exist. They start to sort of nod and then walk away politely. Hi, I'm Martin Smith. I make kinetic sculpture and things small that move and things large that move. And I suppose the theme is interaction. The do not touch thing's always a bit funny when you exhibit work where suddenly, no, it's do touch. It's working on a human approach in it. If you're holding the heart and sort of turning the handle to sort of tell somebody you, you love them, this is all part of that piece of work. At that point, you're part of my performance of that machine. The person interacting with the piece is the automata part. The self-applauding machine only works when you press the button. You're asking it to talk to you, but you walk away, it stops. That to me is quite a sad machine. It claps its hands, because nobody else is clapping their hands for you, maybe. That's me making it for myself. But then people buy them as wedding presents, and I think that's really funny as well. I mean, other people see it as this kind of weird sex machine, so. <laughs> In my head, I have this big swimming pool of ideas. It's around me in this room. It's on the walls, it's on shelves. I collect all sorts of rubbish and junk. I'm a magpie, I collect shiny bright things, I suppose. So everything's informing the work, hopefully keeping it playful. This is a sanctuary, the studio. It's, it's where I want to come and play. I want to not be like, okay, I just go to my factory and make art. The orders can become too big, and that's all you end up doing. So you have to kill pieces off, you have to say, okay, that's the end of that addition. So I want the work to be playful, but I want me working to be playful as well. So making sure that that play is, is built into the week. The play day is making room. So this is the day where we can go back to what got us excited about making to start with, which is coming up with ideas that are just a daft, you know, they shouldn't exist, the daft. The work's underpinned by plague. It's on so many levels. It's on a making level, it's on a thinking level, it's on a conceptual level of, of what the work's about. It's how I see the world, this playful way. Why not have a money box for a, a millionaire that doesn't have coins? I find that very funny. Endless wealth, but they don't carry cash. So I'm going to make them a machine that deals with cash. It's that poking you, you they put me back or they walk away. I get asked, why do you do this? And it's like, hmm. I'm making these objects, machines, sculptures for me. It's something to please me. I suppose that's ter terribly rude. <laughs> it's my hobby. Is that, is that, uh, maybe that's not a valid answer, but is it my hobby? I'm trying to intrigue people, I suppose. I'm trying to make a machine that does something that it shouldn't do. So if I can make a machine that has a surface that ripples, you know, when you put, drop a coin in, that's really interesting to me, but there's no reason for that machine to exist. Why would somebody make it? But well, I, I want to make it. Within that, I'm trying to make machines that don't do what people expect it to do. So when they see it static, they might not understand what's going to happen. I want that reaction to be, oh wow, I didn't expect that, you know, and then drag a friend back to have a look at it as well and be lost in the machine so people just stay with it. That's enough for me, I suppose. I think that comes again back to that. I'm not really making them for other people. I think I think I'm making them for myself. Gosh, it sounds really megalomania. <laughs> Nobody knows these are actually wooden hands that I carve. So I'm carving these not here at the studio because it feels like a wrong thing to be able to do at the studio. So I carve them at home. When I verbalise it, it sounds crazy. So I sit at home working on an evening to wind down from work. So I sit and carve hands. 